So, we move on to the next subject, item spawner. Quite simple. Uh, remember, you're, uh, you have a cursor in the middle of the screen, or a pointer. So remember where that is. Just there, can you see it? Yep, where the uh, mouse appears. Right, so okay. So, we'll start here. Uh, on the right, we can... Uh, this is the list of items that are on the server that are available to you as uh, an admin to work with. Some of these things should not be, um, what I say, spawned. For instance, there is uh, there are some things that just don't like being spawned in. So you'll 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 have to learn that by mistake because there's so many um, items uh, and items from mods and items from builder objects for making structures like this lot here. Um, but anyway, let's get back to just simple spawning. So we'll find a spotlight and we can, at the bottom here says name and preview. You can actually find out what that looks like. All you need to do now at the moment is double click on that. Now, I have no room in my inventory for the spotlight, so it appears in my hand. So we'll put this down. So there's a spotlight. At the bottom left, you have the condition, the quantity. Uh, for instance, uh, let's put a thousand spotlights. Um, let's put a thousand. Let's try. And, let's give you some nails. Nails, sorry. Uh, nail, not nail box. Nail. Now I've put a thousand here, and they're going to be pristine. They're going to my inventory, or if you're more interested, you can actually uh, select the person on the player manager. Down here, there's a little tick there for on selected player in their inventory. So it will appear in their inventory. But both these conditions must be applied. That checkbox there, and checkbox here. If it's not on any of them, it'll appear on you as the admin. So I've got a thousand nails. I will double click the nail. If I look in my inventory now, I will have the maximum that I can possibly get. On this server, it's 250 because I have a, a mod that increases capacity. Um, a stacking mod. So I'm, I can stack 250 nails in a vanilla server without a stacking mod. Uh, the uh, default will be 99 nails. Uh, so if I put in a thousand, it'll max out everything. Because if you have that there max, it won't actually give you the maximum number of nails. It'll give you the default packet. Well, it might actually give, might give you. Let's have a look. Oh, it gives you 70. There we go. Default number is 70. So that's a vanilla number. That's a vanilla number. So anyway, okay. And you can set the quality of those items. Um, I don't think you'd be doing much ruined stuff, but uh, normally pristine or worn. Uh, inventory uh, on the ground at your feet or at where your cursor is pointing. So this works very nicely with animals and creatures. So uh, I don't have any way of killing them, but uh, let's have a look. Animals, animals. Animal. They're all uh, uh, in um, in their Latin names. Uh, service elephants. That's uh, red deer. So we have an cross here, and we should spawn a red deer or a deer, as most people call it. A little deer. He's going to totally ignore me now. Uh, Ovis Aries. That's uh, uh, a male sheep. Bar am you. And. It, yep. Okay. Fair enough. Bye bye. The Sastomedicus, that's uh, uh, a pig. Uh, and that's a wild boar. Scrope is a wild boar. Uh, Capriolus Capriolus, that's that's a rodeo. Male rodeo. That one there. Um, and F for female. And if you double click, if you put two of them together, 
they'll actually get stuck for a few minutes, a few, few seconds, uh, and then they'll sort of split apart into their individual units. And I think it's just seen me. Can you kind of see me? Yep, it saw me. Now you can see it's stuck. So when you're when if you press press home, move your mouse, and you can spawn another one, and it's easier that way to do this. And as you see, they they split apart. Hello. Yes, human here. Anyway, okay, bye bye. So you'll you'll find out what all you've got. There is no preview for animals, so you have to Ursus Arctos. Uh, that would be the, the bear. Yes, bear. Uh, Hercus is the of course uh, is uh, goat. Goat there. So anyway, that's that's basic spawning. Um, Easy light. If you want zombies, that's uh, the the uh, uh, zombie uh, AI there. Uh, ZM will bring up zombies mostly, uh, and then uh, you can choose unless you've got modded creatures on your server, in which case you'll have to uh, find out those names yourself. Uh, houses, um, house. These are supposed to be structures, but sometimes find that uh, there are things that are that are labelled as houses but uh, are not. For instance the black uh, a broken black hole with smoke coming out. Um, press delete key delete, delete the object. So this is uh, item manager mostly. Um, if you're spawning uh, if you're spawning big objects like uh, cars and that, just make sure you're not uh, spawning them in your Sorry, or on the ground, uh, because uh, if you click that, it'll spawn spawn on you. And if it's a big thing, like uh, this, for instance, a uh, big helicopter, uh, it can be painful if you have not got God Mode on. So always put God Mode on. It's a nice thing to have. Uh, everything is available here, as I said. So you just have to scroll through it all. And there's a lot. Um, weapons. And what mods you're on your server. Transport, hatchback. Now most vehicles, when spawned, should spawn complete. But there are times uh, where um, the vehicle won't spawn with with everything. So it'll be missing a door or a wheel or something. Now that's where your, um, your keybinds come in. Because in keybinds, you have BPP, the repair vehicle at crosshair. So all you have to do is remember that keybind, repair, put your crosshair on the vehicle, make sure it's on the vehicle, then press your keybind. Oh, that's the wrong one. Wrong one. That one there, and it will attempt to put a repair the vehicle, but it will repair the vehicle, maybe with the wrong door and that. But uh, up to you to. to uh, Take it off and put it on the floor and look at it. Bring up your interface, close your item manager, look at look at ESP tools. On the left hand side it says show class name. Click class name, make your radius small, select everything. And now you can get the identifier number. This is hatchback doors, driver, blue, rust. Well we want green. I don't think we want green. I don't think we want green rust either. So, from that information, go to your item spawner, and with that still sitting there in the ESP, you can type in uh, hatchback. Oh, now there we go. That's a, that's a problem with uh, H at the moment. When you type letter H, you will teleport. So make sure you're looking down at the object so that you don't teleport into the distance. Hatch, and there we go, teleport in. Hatch, back, doors, underscore, driver. Now, let's move into the hall. Then we have blue, and that's what we want. It's still um, at crosshair at the bottom left here. 
and we can spawn it right below our feet. We can now take this door and put it on. Now I spawned the blue one, which was kind of silly of me. So come back here and we find a hatchback driver door. That doesn't have a colour. There's blue, white and default green. We'll spawn a green one in and we take it to our hands and now we can attach and our, because we repaired it once we can repair it again and you'll see repair reparried and refueled added all fluids maxed out and that also applies to the uh to the uh radiator the battery and the spark plug so okay so key binds just press your delete key and looking at the object First on the object, delete. You must be very careful when you're working in an area that's been built by another admin because you can accidentally delete the uh, structure they've created. So be very careful when you're deleting, especially uh, when you're deleting other things. But uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so bring up ESP again. We're finished now. Um, it's just... Uh, Unselect everything, clear that, toggle that off, put that to a thousand. You can run on Hello, sheep. Um, and that is uh, the basics of item sport.